your dog or cat has a heart murmur or any symptoms that may indicate they have heart disease, we may recommend that you do what's called a cardiac workup. A cardiac workup has many parts to it. The first one, of course, would be taking a history, listening to what you've seen and heard, and maybe what you're referring veterinarian has heard. The next thing will be listening carefully with a stethoscope to see can we hear, miss beats, abnormal beats, or even a murmur. Then we may do an EKG. That's an electrical tracing of your dog's heartbeat as it moves, or your cat's heartbeat. The next thing we're going to recommend is likely to check blood pressure and see what their blood pressure is. And then ultimately, we may take some x-rays. When we take x-rays, we can see the size and shape of the heart. We may actually make some measurements, look at the lungs, the vessels that come and go from the heart. The last part of a cardiac ultrasound workup is an ultrasound. Well, maybe we're going to measure it. And that's this mitral valve that's flapping back and forth. And we can see that mitral valve is mm -hmm. a little thickened right there. It should be a little sharper. We're going to save images here that we take measurements on at the end. We'll save both still images and some video clips. We're also going to watch the blood move. My interpretation of the x-rays that were sent to us I agree with Dr. Nesson that the heart is larger than it should be, both in height and in diameter. And it looks like the left atrium may be a little bit enlarged as well. So we'll investigate that a little further on ultrasound. The red is blood moving this way, the way it should be. Blue, it's starting to head back down again. It's contracting well. We see it beating real well. 